Hello, everyone, and welcome to War for the Crown, Songbird Sion Saboteur. We are on session 31. Last we left off, the party traveled to go meet the crabs, the lovely little crab people. Uh, they made their way towards the Voidwood and the Voinum Estate uh, along the road, uh, leaving the estate in the morning. Uh, they were harassed by some witch crows who managed to steal some bolts. Um, and you now uh, find yourselves on the road, continuing further into, well, further along the side of the void wood and further closer and closer to the crabs. I need to copy and paste you all onto a map. map is where you will go. It apparently didn't copy everyone, but it certainly copied the horses. That's lovely. Mm -hmm. Our horses are just so fast. So fast, so speedy. Yep, yep. Uh, where, uh, why did it not copy you two? The only solution, remove you from the horse and then copy and paste you like that. There you go. There we go. You're on the road again. On the road again. Take it with me, Shrek. Can't wait to get on the road again. And you die. And you die. And you have to make a new character. Round three, here we go. <laughs> 18, that's not correct anymore. I had to copy and paste some old tokens. Feel free to fix your tokens if need be. I don't remember what that for is. Oh, at, I believe that's. No, I have no idea. I have no idea what that for is. Well, it's a four. I would assume it's like healing from Desmond. I don't remember getting healed today. That that might be it. It might be the um, uh, non-lethal. Yeah. That sounds right. That sounds like what it would be a non-lethal. Unless you have a channel divinity and you're tracking it that way. Oh, no, not at all. Okay. I've got nothing at resource four right now. Anyway. Any. You're on the road. A perception check? Just for I'm not sure. travel? Uh, sure, why not? Perception. I will also do a perception check. Unless it's not necessary. Um, well, it was a 23. You do indeed see uh, some movement uh, within the trees. Um, getting closer to you. Um, you see maybe about. Maybe 35 feet away from you, up on this little ridge-like area. You see, creeping through the brush, a almost dog-like creature with a very humanoid-looking face. You see... So you're not going to get to its step, but you see this... Oh my god, a Vargast. Yeah. It's a Vargast. Well, and that's uh, interesting. And for purposes of none other than, I mean, it's a Vargast, then it's an aggressive creature, and you've 
caught it in its attempt to sneak up on you and pounce. Um, ah. I do think that's in an order. That that makes that makes oh. sense. Does anyone have knowledge if this thing hunts alone or in pack? Anastasia would not be the one with that answer, I can tell you that. <laughs> Ambush training. No. I think my best pitch for that would either be uh, knowledge, geography, or history. Uh, yeah, one of those, but that, I wouldn't put my my money on that. I mean, would you take knowledge local or Anastasia being a local? Uh, if you wanted to on your turn. Sure. Well, depends on how close that thing gets to me. That's, uh, if that's... Because uh, I know sometimes you roll dice, but if that's your actual initiative, Tavine, that's good, and you'd be up first. Well, I do usually roll, uh, dice for initiative. Uh, but I mean, if you're gonna let me keep that, then I'll, I'll, I'll keep it. Yeah, you can keep that. Because I think in this case, it would be actually 22. Well, you're at the top anyway. either way. Okay. Uh, all right. Well, then I'll try to. Uh, I guess, do I see? Do we all see it? I mean, I'll, you know, allow a free turn for Anna to have made mention of it before initiative, if that was <laughs> something she would have done. Oh, yes. Okay. 100%. Um... We have company, and if possible, jump off the horse. Um, yeah, I mean, I'll give that to you because, you know, it was, you see it, and then you can shout something out, and then initiative. So I'll say you are you are off your horse. Awesome. Okay, let's parsey action to go over there, giving a wide berth to the creature. And then... I'm there. Oh my god, okay. In that case... 5, 10... Uh... 10... How steep is this ridge? Um, you could probably peek over it if you're on your tippy toes. Okay. Well, I am not a very acrobatic individual. So I guess. come over here and I'll uh, I'll pull out my meteor hammer and I will ready an attack in fortress mode okay ready an attack for uh, the creature coming towards us because you know if it doesn't do that hooray it went away if it does then I attack it you know yeah. Um, okay. If that's all from you, then. Uh, Anna. Um, I will definitely take that uh, knowledge local or knowledge history, uh, depending on which one you would like to rule that as. Um, uh, sure. One moment. Sure. Um...
Um, I would love to give you that, but I just don't think I can. If you have, um, let's see. If you have knowledge planes, I could give it to you, but I don't think local. Damn, no. <laughs> Darn it. Okay. Um, I will. Let's see, I will move. I will move here my move action and I would like another if I can get it for free another perception check to see if I can spot a second one um sure new turn I'll allow it uh 12 um you're looking around with, with the first creature bearing down on you you know quick look around uh you don't really see anything else you know there's the one in front of you you do not see any other creatures okay i will also uh ready an attack action for the host for any hostile creature that comes at me within my range and uh uh i will shout to desmond uh stay with the horse obviously i jumped off so he has access to the front and the reins and that will end my turn mm. Okay, the lovely, lovely bar guest. Um, okay, it is going to hmm. It's going to come right up to the edge here. I need to see something very lovely. Oh, no. Oh, that looks like bad. That just looks like general bad. No, what do you mean? Yes, yes, bad. Um, can Tavene and Anna give me a, a will save, please? Oh, shit, I'm not gonna... Hey, uh... hey that's better than a lot me. <laughs> I don't think I have anything specific, but it's a plus six, so... That's just mean. This is mean. An eight. I got an eight. Okay. Um, that's gonna be the Bargus turn. As suddenly you feel this sensation of great despair and sadness uh, overcome the two of you. Uh, as you are going to be, you are affected by crushing despair. Which is minus two on attack rolls, saving throws, ability checks, skill checks, and weapon damage rolls. Okay. The condition was what again? That is what happens. What was the condition called again so I can turn it on the character sheet? Um, I don't think it is a condition. This is the name of the spell, or spell-like ability, Crushing Despair. Uh, okay. You gain plus two penalty on attack rolls, saving throws, ability checks, skill checks, and weapon damage rolls. Okay, got it. Uh, that is its turn, as it snarls in your direction. Uh, Desmond. All right. Um, I was just putting that condition next to Anna so we don't forget. Uh, I'm gonna move uh, the horse maybe 15 feet over because wait hold on hold on I, I think that might be a little too far I think back what I said oh no, I, I just want to check both of them are currently depressed right not just uh, Anna 
Yeah, it is Anna and Tavene who are affected. Okay, this is my maximum range at the moment, so I think I'm going to um, throw an attack at this thing with my cold blast against touch. Please be nice. Thank you. I mean, the damage isn't anything, but I, at least I hit. <laughs> that certainly does. All right. Um, and then I think I remember us discovering that the horse just takes its turn alongside the player who's controlling it, right? Um, that sounds about right. Yeah, you get the horse's movement, and you can get your own movement. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm gonna scoot the horse back uh, 15 feet away from the bar guest. Okay. Um, I don't have control over the horse, but I will shuffle Desmond over 15 feet. Perfect. Alright. Okay, and that's your turn, Brom. Um, does dismounting uh, t require an action? Uh, I feel like we figured this out too, but I can't remember. Um, I think we had it as part of the horse's movement last time. Uh, let's I don't think here. we ever discussed dismounting. Um, let's see. Okay. Uh, f fast mount or dismount. You can mount or dismount as free action with a DC 20 ride check. If you fail the check, mounting or dismounting is a move action instead. You can't attempt. That's fast mounting, though. But it also says dismounting. Uh, oh, mounting. Okay, so that's for fast mounting and fast dismounting. Mounting or dismounting a steed requires a move action. Okay. Got it. Just to confirm, it's our move action, right? It's not the horse's move action? Yeah, your move action. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and move the horse over here. I'm going to spend a move action to mount. I'm guessing he just puts me right next to it. Yeah. I'll choose right there. Then, as a standard action, I'm going to go ahead and cast shield on myself. Okay. And, and Am I able to do a perception check as a free action, or that's next? Up? Um, I guess I can give it to you. Okay, well, I need clarity on that. Um, I'll end my turn with that. Alright. Uh, David A. Okay. I'm going to, uh, bank on you for this. If. Oh, shoot. Because that's 15. Well, I could still shift a little bit. Um. So I can see over this like would you say it's around shoulder height yeah okay you're not gonna have to be throwing a would rope you over allow... there to climb up no 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 would you allow me to reasonably swing at the bar guest at shoulder height or would you need me to climb up <laughs> Basically. If your weapon can reach the bar guest without having to be in direct melee, I will say yes, you can swing it above the little lip. Right, then I'll come here, which honestly probably gives me some cover as well. And I will 10 feet strike once. Okay. Though it was just... Wait. I was here, so I couldn't... Okay, yeah. So... Yeah, got it. 
All right, uh, significantly better now, but not not perfect. We'll see. We'll see if that level up did anything. Okay, well, uh, that's a base 18, so 24. I'll take that. Even with the minus two, it's still gonna hit. Oh, right, right, right. 22. Sorry. You are forgiven. And how dare you? know what? Actually, how damage, dare you forget the minus well, two? So a D8 plus two instead of four. <laughs> 10 damage. 10 points of damage. Why nice you whack right, like that? right on its snout. Because. Because I hate you, obviously. Hey, you know what? That's why I gave you that minus two. <laughs> I just, I could sense the hatred. Look look at this guy. He's, look at him. You really gonna hit that guy? Look at him. Yep, yeah, I just in the face. Him. just wanna hug his little goblin face. He gave me dysphoria. That's a funny joke. Hurt my guy. Unbelievable. Uh, you smack my guy, which is rude. You deal him 10 damage. Is that your turn? Mm -hmm. That's my turn. All right. Anna, your turn. What are you going to do? You're going to hurt my, my little guy, too? You're going to do this to me? Yeah, 100%. On the, da on the day of my daughter's wedding? Yep. Can I get up this ledge? <laughs> yes. Perfect. Yeah, I'm going to get right in its face. I heard a chuckle in the background. I'm proud of what I said. <laughs> You did. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna get right in its face, and I'll, as I'm getting up there, I'm gonna pull out my blade and I'm gonna take a swing. Hiya! Oh. Okay. Well, thankfully, <laughs> I saw the I saw it said crit confirm, and I got really upset. But then I saw that natural one, and <laughs> it doesn't. <laughs> okay, so I'm assuming uh, I'm assuming even at a if we were to minus the natural you're the still gonna plan, hit still yes gonna hit. Okay. congratulations you, I, got level 20. you still hit my monster i know i hit it for an eight because it doesn't qualify for sneak attack yet so unbelievably rude yep and i only get one swing at this level so that ends my turn unbelievably rude you know what i'm gonna try and hit you twice that's fair but it's not gonna work but that's fair because it's, uh, it's just going to stand there and full attack and try and swipe at you with its claws. Oh, sorry. That's a that's a six on the damage because it's a minus uh, minus two to the weapon damage. Oh, uh, uh, yes, it is. I get one over on you. Yeah, I want to be I want to be fair. All got... right, first first claw. I know this probably doesn't hit and it, it really hurts me inside to say this. But does a 21 hit? Nope. Yeah. Oh, wait a minute. Does a 26 hit? If you say no, I'm just going to leave. <laughs> I, I wish I could say no, but it, my AC is 24, so that hits. Wonderful. So the first claw swipe, you are you manage to you know push back, but the second one cuts through for seven points of damage. Got it. Uh, that is its turn, Desmond. Hurting my monsters. Unbelievable. I got, at least I got one good one in there. All right. I think I'm going to uh, begin uh, gathering energy as a standard action. Okay. And then I think that's going to be my whole turn. <laughs> All right. I'm just being loud back here. I okay. I want to say this. I love your character. I love Desmond. But the concept you're you're this this is this is you you are playing the filler episodes of Dragon Ball Z, in that. Everyone around you is fighting, and you're there like, ha! Goku, take him out! I'm gonna start charging my yeah. attack. Yeah, you're you're waiting for the for the Wait, viewers got to one give you. Shot. You're you're waiting for the viewers to give their energy for your spirit bomb, while the others are getting their ass beat. You know. <laughs> I love Desmond though; he's great. But that's that's that that's what I picture. You, everyone's fighting. And you're just there, you know, three episodes go by, you're still charging up. Piccolo's dead. I don't know Dragon Ball Z, but that's what it, what I'm picturing. Uh, Braum. 
Hopefully it changes in the next few levels. <laughs> Alright, so I should have dismounted closer, but suppose I'm going to move five, ten, twenty, and I'm going to go ahead and Um, suppose I'm gonna ready in action. If something gets close to me, I'll hit it with my with my sledgehammer, and that's all, all I can right. do. All right, we got Goku and we got the Punisher on the same team. Netflix is Punisher specifically. I like it. Saving it. All right. Or minus two, what am I looking at? A plus two to each attack. Uh no, that's not that's not worth it. I'd rather just do one attack right now. One more swing. Uh okay. Twelve plus four sixteen. A 16 does... nope. Okay. Well, I'm still not hurt, so... Alright, and that is all for you trying to swing. It dodges out of the way. Yeah, I'm gonna... Like... Yeah, um... Anna, attack and step back. Anna. Okay, uh, sure. Sounds reasonable to me. Uh, attack. <laughs> hey, yeah! That's a 17 to hit? Oh, that will hit. Six points of flashing damage. Uh, God, why am I why am I being in favor of killing my monsters? It'd be seven points of damage. Seven points of damage. Nine minus two math. Because math, and then five foot step back. Okay, five foot step back. So no it, loss of opportunity. Hey, <laughs> hey. It is going to. Hmm. Oh yeah, you, you know. I'll say that after combat. Um, uh, okay. Um, what do I want to do here? What do I want to do with my beastie? My beastie boy. No. It's just gonna five foot forward and try and be a meanie. Curses. <laughs> no curses on you, because that's what I did by giving you depression. Um... It doesn't very well much like being stabbed, so I think it's gonna try and bite Anna. That's fair. Spoiler alert, he doesn't. Desmond. 
Special beam entangling infusion. Okay, let's see if this hits. <laughs> okay. Against touch, please. My fucking goodness. And Every 11. No. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Do you remember? Someone needs to hold on to the Vargas in order for that attack to oh, hit. Oh, you're right. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Every time I charge up, it never hits. Yeah. Alright. <laughs> you're like, okay, with, now with that visual, you're like the guy who shows up like at the very end, the big bad guy is about to be defeated and you waste your super special move. I mean, except. Wait, I, I guess that's that's meta information. Now we know it's about to be defeated. <laughs> Next. That's your turn. You you fire and you miss. Uh, I mean, uh, yeah. Unless I can spend like a movement action, like scanning my surroundings. I mean, I'll give you a perception. Oh, you do not see another bar guest uh, looking to munch on you. All right. That's uh, good. Wrong. Um, all right. So if I and 15 and I'm going to go ahead and um, we'll knock him in the back. All right. Um, forget what this flunking do again. I believe it's a plus two. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Plus two. And I get my okay, sneak because so... he's there. Holy crap, Ola! If only that hits. Dang it! Yeah, but uh, that's a fifteen. 13, 14, 15, a fifteen will not hit, unfortunately. That is insane damage. Okay. Well. That's all I can do. This thing's pretty uh, limber. Indeed, it is. All right, Tavene. Five foot step, not quite in flanking just yet, and then plus four. Ooh, okay. Uh, how about seventeen? Seventeen will hit. Let's go. 13 plus on my die. <laughs> and then B8 plus 2. Uh, 8 damage. 8 damage. Okay. It's definitely looking hurt. Excellent. That's all from you, Anna. Awesome. So with the flanking with Brom, uh, that balances out the negative two. Mm -hmm. uh, so we'll just straight roll. Hiya! Dang it! That will miss. That's a miss. That ends my turn. I'm staying there. Oh, you're staying there. Um... All right. Um, it's its turn. Need to read something. Uh, whoops. Oh, okay, this is what I needed. Um, uh, Dang, that confirms my suspicions, and that upsets me. 
but it's going to try it anyways. So it's going to try and use a spell-like ability to try and get out of here, which gives uh, yeah. anyone who can attacks of opportunity against it. That's what I was Googling. If spell-like abilities give attacks of opportunity, they do. Seven damage from me. Also, I had that pulled up in my in my uh, core rulebook, just in case you tried to do that. <laughs> uh. Uh, 16 and sneak attack would activate, so that's 11 total damage from me. Um... A 16 doesn't hit. What was your... So, okay. Uh, 19 to hit from Tavene, a 16 from Anna, and an 11 from Braum. Only the hit from Tavene would go through. Uh, which means it is still alive. And before your concentration, that's a good question. I don't, um, I don't know if spell like abilities need concentration. I think they do because um, you have like a different concentration bonus depending yeah. on whether it's spell like uh, or your actual spells. You can see this here. That does seem to be the case, so I will give it one. So the DC would be 10 plus damage dealt. Damn it! No way. I failed by really? one. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> yes! Oh. Yes, good call, David. Hell yeah, if, let's if go. DC, if DC is 10 plus damage dealt, that's 7 damage for a 17. I got a 16. Damn it, it was going to dimension door 400 feet away. Oh. No, oh, my fucking holy. not. <laughs> wow. Damn it. My, so, my I mean, it's... Quote, holy flail disrupts yeah. the med. It, it's not dead, but Tavene, I mean, I'll if you want to... If you want to describe, I mean, you see it getting ready to flicker in, you know, out of existence. I, if you want to describe how you yeah. disrupt, I mean, you swing your weapon. I mean, yeah, I am heavily attuned to the magic around me. And as the bar guest is pulling the magic in to, uh, you know, escape... I find that weak point and I strike directly into like the middle of its spine, Ke dismissing the magic and keeping it here. It definitely snarls at you, but unfortunately, damn it, that's its turn. Uh, Desmond, you, you're hitting my monsters, you're disrupting my spells. Unbelievable. All right, let's inch forward again. Uh, let's go up along here. What's the wrong horse? Thank you. All right. No charge up. Cold blast. Let's go. <laughs> 22. <laughs> the non Kamehameha manages to hit and drops the bar guest. <laughs> so maybe this is a lesson that you should probably take for the future, but I'm not going to say that, you know, <laughs> I don't know. Maybe, maybe super special charge beams oh. versus simple beam. Uh, you know, I'll let you figure that one out. <laughs> okay. Also, you guys aren't despaired anymore. I probably should have dropped it a long time ago, but it's the creature was dying. So you guys are no longer icky and depressed. Do either... Tay or Anastasia wear makeup out here? No. Go on, make a fucking perception. And you see Chin through check. the makeup. Well, it's well, real. I, I was just wondering if they're depressed. I wonder if their makeup got ruined at all. 
but I'll, I mean, I'll make a perception, sure. Well, well, I mean, RP takes. Depression doesn't necessarily mean crying. I mean, that's true. You're you're exactly right. But you know, depression in this case and the overwhelming despair just means you know the bar guest said, "Hey guys, your life is going to end. The sun is going to die out. The world's going to be over. Your life sucks." And gave them overwhelming and crushing despair. <laughs> um, Desmond looks down at Anastasia, uh, probably just taking a deep breath in, and uh, uh, extends a hand downward. She doesn't say anything, but as you were in the process of extending your hand down, she was in the process of extend extending her hand up, like help me up <laughs> onto the horse. And I will take my place at the front of the horse. Seemed like an emotional roller coaster for you and Tay. You Are you hurt? A little hurt, but I'm fine. This wasn't pleasant thoughts that came forward. That's all. Well, well, I can empathize. Do you want me to heal you while we're riding? No, I'm okay for now. If I start to feel achy, I'll let you know. Um, I'm I'm gonna mutter this out loud, uh, so that anyone who could possibly make a check can make a check. But uh, Desmond's gonna ask. So is, uh, are those creatures venomous at all? Do they carry diseases? Should we be worried about anything? They're Anyone not, has knowledge planes. They're not local, that's as far as I'm aware. Oh, my mm -hmm. character is not familiar with Vargas. Well, I'll sink a rank next level so that I can do that the next time. The best I got. Uh the man who asks, hey, what do you know about this? Oh, hey, I actually know about this. You know. I don't know. Um, I need to find it. Yeah, bar guests. Uh, well, for one, you know that they're the fiendish cousin, you know, probably from a book. Uh, they're the fiendish cousins of, you know, goblins. Um, and they love to feast on the bodies of innocents. If uh, Anna would have died to that bar guest. He probably would have eaten her corpse. So well, you're saying if we're not if we're not innocent, then it, it would not attack us. Well, depends on how you view innocent innocence. It's all relative. But um, ah. if there's no disease, uh, Desmond won't make a fuss about it. I mean, they hurt, but you don't remember reading anything about diseases. All right. All right, Anastasia, if you don't want healing, then I'll abide by your request. But if you start bleeding on my clothes or the horse, then I'll patch you up just enough to stop the bleeding. That is a... A reasonable reason to do so, though I don't foresee that happening, at least as of right now. It's good to know that you care about the hygiene of my horse. Thank you. But of course. Come along, Come along Brom. Brom. You too, Brahms horse. You guys, it's Wait a second, that's horse. my horse. That's a bullet. That's a bullet. <laughs> Come along, my horse. You all continue back down the road towards the Crab Estate. Um, eventually, you know, passing by the Void Wood with seemingly no more troubles. And while the daylight begins to come and go, 
that you do eventually see the state and the city around it in the distance, which while we prepare for a lovely chat with the crabs, uh, we will uh, do that next time for reasons stated uh, free start of recording. Perfect. Great game as always. Glad we got in a little bit of fighting. That was fun. Okay. Yes, I wanted to make sure we at least got in a, a combat session if we're going to have an early session. Um, yeah. yes. Stop my bar guests from getting away. Yes. Oh my yes. gosh. He we was going to get no it. Prisoner. He was going to leave and go gorge on some other bodies and grow bigger and come back as the final boss of the campaign. How dare that, you? Tavenet was having none of that. She's like, no, you stay and get your ass beat. Let's go. <laughs> um, hey, having magic eyes is helpful. Well, really, though, that was, a, that was a good call. That was a good call. Killing my bar guest. And I was, I was going to Google. I was in the middle of Googling it, and then you brought it up. And I was like, I, internally, I was saying to myself, Damn it, I do have to make it roll. And you failed. And that's And I failed by one. Great. And that's Before how it. we end the night. I think that's awesome. Can't wait to play again. But for now, everybody say goodbye to YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Bye, YouTube. Happy dungeon delving, everyone. And pie. As always, good pie and stay sweet.